Today we're unpacking our new Ninja Creamy machine. I'm so excited that this just came. We've waited like two weeks for it to finally come. And here we are, we're gonna unpack it. Then we're gonna try out a couple of the recipes from the Ninja Creamy recipe book. And then we're gonna tweak a couple and make our own. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna walk you through all the steps and all the recipes. It's gonna be more kind of vlog style. So we'll add chapters in here in case you wanna skip around to the different parts or the different recipes. So let's get back to unboxing. Instead of peeking and prepping ahead, we're gonna open this with you. So you can see it too. It came out like a year ago, and I was debating whether it was worth it or not. I decided I was gonna go for it. So, kind of looked at different places on where to buy it. I settled on Costco because I'll we'll explain that later. I just thought I would jump on real quick and tell you that Envelope. since I ordered this machine, I ordered it from Costco online, so it was shipped to our door. But since then, we stopped by this actual Start Costco guy. shop and it was $40 off. So not only are you going to get the extra creamy tubs, Dude, but it's only $159.99 right now if you act fast. I think the sale is on till the first week of June. Oh, these are the containers. <laughs> So this is what we're going to freeze our ice cream in. We have to freeze it solid for 24 hours, and then this machine is going to turn it into ice cream. One. This is the reason why I got it from Costco. So, looking all over the place. Price-wise, Costco was similar to Amazon, and Best Buy was also having a sale. But... Amazon. The Amazon one came with one tub, and the Best Buy one might have come with two. Don't quote me on that, but Costco for the same price with four. Now you can order these separately on Amazon. I want to say it's about 50 or 60 bucks for four more, so it is a good deal if you do have a Costco membership. So the plan, we're going to get these washed up. We're going to check that recipe book for a gluten-free, dairy-free recipe. We're gonna get it freezing. And then tomorrow we're gonna come back here and we're gonna whiz it up. It's called spinning. The Ninja Creamy spins. So the idea behind the Ninja Creamy is almost like a reverse ice cream maker. So you're going to pre-freeze your ice cream mix or whatever you are turning into ice cream um, in their pint container. You're going to freeze it for 24 hours and then this machine is going to spin it almost like a drill press and kind of scrape it and turn it into ice cream. So because of the design of this machine, you're actually more flexible on what kind of recipes you use to turn into ice cream. So it's been going a little viral with people making protein ice creams or keto ice creams. And you're able to turn 100% fruit or stuff like applesauce into sorbets that are a healthier version of the grocery store stuff. So I'm gonna go wash everything. Let's see what's in here. So a lot of the ice cream recipes in the recipe book use things like cream cheese and heavy cream and milk. So it took a little while to find some recipes we could use, but there were some coconut milk based recipes and there are some straight up fruit recipes. So we're going to give a couple of those a try. Coconut vanilla ice cream. It uses unsweetened coconut milk, one can, vanilla extract and granulated sugar. I'm going to use cane sugar, but it's coarse. So I think I'm going to blender this together first. Pour, freeze, and that's how far we're gonna get. We're gonna come back tomorrow when it's frozen. Then there's tips that you can create other flavors. Adding cocoa powder, instant coffee. So it might be kind of fun if we make this recipe, because you don't have to fill it to the max fill line. I don't have them here, they're drying over in the other room right now. I'd show you, I can show you later. There's a max fill line on the pints, but you don't have to, you don't have to fill them full. So maybe we could make this and split it if there aren't other recipes we want to try. And then we can try one of these. Figured out what I'm going to do. Because we've got four tubs. So we're going to try... Dairy-free coconut vanilla ice cream. We're going to split it in half. And then we're going to make half of it chocolate. And then we're going to do 
lemon sorbet. So that's three. And then the fourth one, they don't have a full recipe. They kind of do. They have a no prep inspiration chart. And one of them is coffee plus coffee creamer to make a coffee frozen dessert. So we'll see how that one works out. That sounds really good too. Let's get this guy turned on. We'll come back and make the coffee when it's warmed up. Gathered all our ingredients for the coconut vanilla and for the chocolate. I grabbed our blender, any blender would work. Or if you're using regular sugar like the recipe, you don't even need to pull under it, you just stir it. But look, we've got super granular organic cane sugar here. So we're gonna blender it. So we need one can. That should be it. We'll get this on here. Let's see what this is. gonna start low. Should be good now. It says twenty, so for it, so there's ten. chocolatize it. So to chocolate the entire batch would be two tablespoons of cocoa powder so we're going to add one tablespoon. We use natural cocoa powder here. Again if you're not using the cane sugar and I already have blender dirty you can just spoon stir it. Not a big deal. But we have the blender dirty so why not? sorbet is going to take half a cup of granulated sugar. So yes, we'll use the blender again. I'm going to go spray it out and be right back. Have you seen this gadget? We're going to use this gadget to make our lemon sorbet. Corn syrup. I'm gonna go grab some honey. Half cup of sugar. That's it. That's everything. Yeah, that 
was the coffee so let's go see the machine should be warm now we need half a cup of coffee one and a half cups vegan coffee creamer do we use canned coconut milk again guys or should i use cashew milk what do you think or almond milk programmed in his own custom coffee. It's less extraction time than mine used to be, so we'll go with that. Be right back. There we go, it's all done. We'll clean that up later. Back over here. So we need half a cup of coffee. I don't know if anybody cringed when you saw me fold over the corners of the recipe book, but I do that to all my books. And I write in them little notes and check marks and dates. Leave myself little notes for the next time I make it. Whatever it is. Or if it's a complete bomb, you write a note so you never make it again. There we go. So we've got... Chocolate, lemon sorbet, and is this going to be like a coffee sorbet, coffee slushy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Them in our freezer over there. One, two, three, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll clean this all up myself. So it's the next day. This is the coffee one and it froze really funny, see that? So I'm gonna try scrape that. I've had it sitting out for a little bit. So the plan is to try get this flat and get it back into the freezer. Okay, so we've got it pretty flat. I'm gonna pop it back into the freezer. Let's go for a walk. We've got the front case all set up for open. Opening in about half an hour. Let's get back in here and see the rest of them. The rest of them are nice and flat. I left two of the lids off because somebody has a hack that says that they freeze flatter if you freeze them without the lid. So three of them worked really good. That one did not, but it's ready to go now. They're not quite at the 24 hour mark yet. So we didn't do it 24 hours later. This has been three days. They are frozen solid. What we're gonna do is we're going to run them under hot water. I'm just gonna say they run them under hot water and let them sit on the counter for a few minutes. So we're gonna do that. Run them under hot water real quick. This is our coconut based vanilla. This is the chocolate. This is the lemon sorbet. Hopefully that one's a good one because there's a lot in there. And this one was our coffee and almond milk. Now this one we saw it earlier it froze kind of funny so we've had to scrape the top flatter. So let's get these under water and then we will start to spin them. There we go. Now bear with me this is the first time I used this machine I did not practice. Round 
run. Oh, this actually looks pretty creamy already. Let's give it a taste and see. Wow, that's actually really good. Nice and creamy. I like the strong vanilla flavor. It's really nice too. I'm not going to clean the blade in between because it was just moving from vanilla to chocolate. So we'll just pop this one in here. And maybe we'll do coffee after that. And then we'll wash it and go to the lemon. Okay, this one's also ice cream. There we go. First bit on the chocolate. Smooth. I'm gonna give it a try. See if we think it needs another spin or not. No. Wow, that's delicious and creamy and chocolatey. Actually, got a really well balanced flavor. And all we did was add a tablespoon of cocoa powder to half of the vanilla. That's really delicious. Next up, we're gonna do our coffee almond milk mixture. I'm gonna use the lid dirty. That's fine. Maybe just make it a little mocha-ish. So the only thing we're gonna do different here is we are gonna go with sorbet. So this one came out super powdery after the first bin that we've seen. I saw on a couple of videos where people do more water-based recipes that it does come out powdery and you need to respin. So we ended up respinning this about four times and it was still powdery. This recipe did not have any sugar though and it was very water based. So what I ended up doing is I ended up taking half of it out and adding some of the vanilla and chocolate ice cream to it and refreezing it and we're going to spin it the next day. Move on to the lemon. So let me go wash this up. I'll be right back. So it's super easy to pop this blade out. Just pop the blade out, and it's really easy to clean off. And this gasket here, this gasket comes out too. So you can give it a really good wash when you're done. Put the blade back in. And get on with trying our lemon. Okay, round one lemon. Oh wow. It looks a lot more creamy than I expected based on the coffee one. I thought this one was gonna be super, super icy too, but this one has sugar added, so maybe that helped. Wow. It's just like lemon sorbet. That's so good. It doesn't even need a respin. Okay, so I think three three out of four of them were a huge success. Our vanilla, our chocolate, and our lemon, all following the Ninja Creamy um, recipe instructions out of the booklet. They all turned out really great. None of them needed an extra spin. Then there's our coffee almond milk. I think, so I've leveled it off. I've taken some out and I've leveled it off. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some vanilla or chocolate ice cream on top and freeze it and then re-spin this tomorrow and see if that helps. If not, we might be trying a whole new one from scratch. Because I do like the idea of the frozen coffee, but it's really, really icy. So this is the coffee one we had before, but I've topped it up with chocolate and vanilla ice cream and thrown it back in the freezer overnight. And we're gonna give it a spin and it actually turns out really good. It ends up tasting like mocha ice cream. So we will give you that recipe down below if you wanna check that one out. Then we also did a repeat of the vanilla and the chocolate ice cream, but instead of using cane sugar, we swapped out allulose and made sugar-free ice cream. And both of them ended up tasting very delicious, super creamy. The only thing I would say is that the coconut flavor comes through a little more on this one than it did on the cane sugar vanilla, but still very delicious and creamy.
And just for fun, we also stuck some of our soft serve ice cream base in one of the pint tubs and froze that so we could give it a spin and see how it tasted with the Ninja Creamy. And I was quite surprised at the flavor difference between um, the exact same ice cream coming out of our soft serve machine versus coming out of the creamy. The creamy, the flavor is a lot more concentrated because it doesn't add the air that a soft serve machine would do. You end up kind of more with a gelato, the denser flavorful ice cream. So the flavor of the maple syrup that we used to sweeten it actually came through and it tasted very mapley, though still very creamy, but good to know. Um, but the sugar-free allulose ice cream turned out great as well as the cane sugar ice cream and we'll list them all down below if you have a creamy and you want to give them a try we also want to try out a few other recipes maybe some of those protein recipes my kids want to try the applesauce one and some smoothies and if there's any recipes that you've seen or if you have a ninja at home and think that you have a recipe we should try just give us a shout let us know